involved where it's misfiring and hesitating on startup. So let's start the car up. It's only done 134,000 miles. It's had full service history, everything is in good working order. So let's fire the Mini up. So as you can see, the engine, man engine management light is on, indicating there is a fault. So as, you, as I rev it, I can feel the engine is sluggish. It doesn't want to rev freely. Also during driving, this engine management light started to flash indicating a misfire as well so the next thing to do is plug in the diagnostic and see what the ECU has picked up okay so I've connected the BMW diagnostic into the memory of the ECU and it's come up with three faults the first one being Injector circuit cylinder 4. So we know cylinder 4 is misfiring. So it's saying no signal detected. So more than likely that is a faulty injector with no signal. Okay, then you've got cylinder 4 misfire detected, signal out of range. So again, the signs are there of a faulty injector. Okay, so the third fault is misfire detected with low fuel. Again, because the injector is not working. Fuel's not coming through, the system has picked it up. The system has picked it up, and then engine management has light has come on, and obviously you're getting the misfire, and the car is hesitating. So we know what the fault is, a faulty injector in cylinder four. So let's get that replaced, and then we'll come back, and then have a look on the diagnostic again once that has been replaced. Here it is, the fuel injector is removed and this is the injector that we need to replace. It had no reading, the diagnostic picked up no signal, low fuel delivery as well so we'll get this changed. Okay so that's the old one and this is the new one. old injector is out and this is the new one that will be going back in there. there go, that's a new injector back in. Now it's time to refit the injector rail, injector rail back onto the manifold and I'm going to quickly clean and lube the injector seal that's about to go in. Okay, so the injector rail is now back on. I'm going to bolt the two bolts holding the fuel rail in place then I'm going to put the fuel injector connectors back on and then put everything back together. Okay so everything's back on, the fuel line is back on, the new injectors on there, all the connection to the injectors have been connected back on, everything bolted up. Okay now it's time to start it up. Okay, 
So we're going to start it up for the first time after fitting the new injector. It seems to be revving more easily. Although the engine management light is still on, I will get that reset with the diagnostics shortly. Now I'm just going to check for any leaks around the injectors, especially around here. See, there's no leak, especially around this one here. Okay, so now that we've replaced the injector, we're going to come back and now clear the memory using the BMW diagnostic. We're going to rescan the memory. Okay, so all the faults have been cleared. There's no, currently no errors showing on the ECU. Okay, so I've started the car up after resetting the ECU using the diagnostic equipment. Engine management light has gone out now. So, so it sounds a lot better now. No hesitating. It freely revs. So now let's go back onto diagnostic and then just have a look at some information. Okay, so here we are again, we're looking at some live data now. So as you can see, the temperature is all up to speed. So idling at around about 8,000 revs. cylinders and are firing correctly as you can see so that's it guys 